Hi, my name is Vesna Karapetrova and we're here today at Canadian Macedonian Place on September the 23rd, 2014 to interview Mr. Angel Kalagiev for the Canadian Macedonian Historical Society. Welcome Mr. Angel Kalanjiev to our interview for the uh, archives of the Canadian Macedonian Historical Society and we thank you for taking the time to share your life story. Thank you very much Vesna for your invitation. I'm very proud to be here among you and to talk today. But my English as you see is not so good. I prefer sometimes to talk to it, to answer your questions in Macedonian, sure, if, whenever, if you don't mind. Not at all. Whatever you're most comfortable with, we'll do it in English for yeah. our younger uh, viewers and listeners. Yes. And uh, let's start, um, Mr. Kalanjiev, with where, tell us where you were born. I was born in Istanbul, Turkey, May 12, 1930. Today I am 84 years old, as you see me, old man. <laughs> Go and read yeah. Can you, uh, where were your brothers and sisters born? Sorry? Where were your brothers and sisters born? I don't have brothers, I have just two sisters. Yes? The older one passed away three years ago. The second one, which is younger than me, it, she is nine years younger than me. Presently, she is living in Istanbul. Okay. She has two kids, one boy, one daughter. The daughter is married, and she lives in the States, in the United States. And the boy, yeah, the boy is about 37, 38 years old still not married, no mm -hmm. possibilities, I don't know, the life is very... Right, Mr. Uh, Mr. Kalajiev, can you tell us uh, the names of your sisters? My sister, the, the, the older one, which is diseased now, her name is Sultanka. She was born in Dorinchiv Lik Varnesko in Bulgaria, mm -hmm. sometimes in September 1926 and she passed away in Istanbul. She was 82, 83 years. Yes, and your younger sister, what is her name and where was she born? She was born in Istanbul. Okay. In the same little house you see there. Mm -hmm. I was <laughs> born there and my younger sister born there. As I told you, she's younger than me. Yeah, Nine a, years old. That's a picture of the neighborhoods in Istanbul. And what was your neighborhood called? Oh, Küçüklanga, Genikapu, Aksaray, the center of Istanbul. So you were right in the center yeah, of Istanbul. Yeah, in the gardens. I am born playing it when I was a young child, working in the gardens. Yes, we are going to get to that. Thank you. Can you tell uh, us also about your parents, who they were and where they were yeah. born? My parents, let's start from my father. My father born in Patele, Lerinsko. Now Patele has changed its name. It is called Agios van Telemon in Greek. And my mother, same in the same village, she was born. Do you know when they were born? Ah, my father was born 1897. It means a hundred eight years ago, something mm -hmm. like this. And my mother was born 1902. She was five years younger than him. And they were both born in Patele? Yes. In both Aegean they Macedonia. They were born in Patele. Mm -hmm. As I told you before, I don't know my grandfathers. Mm -hmm. grandmothers, none of them, because when my grandfather from my mother's side, he was in Istanbul working in these gardens over there. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Was it, was uh, there uh, many Macedonians working uh, in that uh, in the Istanbul? Uh, were there many Macedonians? Yes. Mm -hmm. All the gardeners they were from Lerinsko Kolya, from Patele, from Zelenice, mm -hmm. from the you say from. Uh, okay. Exisu, yeah. Exisu, yes. Now. Um, uh, Angel, can you tell us about your parents? Uh, they were born in Patele, you were born in Istanbul, right? Uh, in Turkey. Can you tell us when your parents went to Istanbul and why? Okay. When my father was 14 years old, she was a shepherd. He was a shepherd, yes? Yes. They passed off city. Yes. Of charge. Yes. And when he was 14 years old, the family sent him to the United States to work, to make money, Pechalban. Yes. And he stayed over then, I don't know, about six or seven years. Do you know where in the United States? Dayton, Ohio. D Dayton, Ohio. Okay. Yes. And? I have pictures of him. I'll show you the pictures. Mm -hmm. The picture which he was, he sent to his family, to his parents in Patele. Yes. The original pictures. So he worked as a child, as a young, very young man, almost a child, there in Ohio. Dayton, in Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. In a factory. What did he do? Malleable mean? iron. He started as a water boy to serve water to the people, to the to, workers to, to over there because water. very hot inside. So it was a, a iron a steel plant, a steel plant, iron melting steel uh, plant. Yeah, malleable iron, Chukano okay. how you say, iron, I don't know. Uh, works, yes. And he was as a, his first job was like a, a water boy to give water the water stuff. to the workers. During the day serving, serving water to the workers and the night time he was going to school to learn the English language. He has a beautiful handwriting, you see. So he learned how to speak English his, and read and write. His handwriting, you know. He was telling me the letter A, you will write like this. Uh -huh. The neighbors around us, they were writing letters to their friends and their relatives abroad yes. and they were bringing the envelope yes. so that my father wrote the address on oh, the envelope okay. because he had a beautiful writing, beautiful writing, calligraphy. Okay, great. And then your father, how long did he stay in Dayton, Ohio? He stayed seven or eight years. And then? And then on the insisting of his brother yes who was 14 years older than him yes okay brother let's go to the old country our parents are alone they need help who will they look after the cows the sheep the property my, my father didn't want but he has to comply with his wishes to leave the united states and go back to patele and then what happened and what happened? He left 1912 when he was 14 years old. Yes. Through another Selyanin from the village. Another village who, person, yes. Yeah, another, no, no, who had experience. Maybe he went back and forth a couple times to the United States. Maybe he knew a little bit English. And my father, of yes. course, like a young boy. Uh, Ah, on the return, on the insistence of the, my uncle, then was already Greece, not the Turkish Ottoman Empire. 1912, the last days of the Ottoman Empire and collapsed, you mm -hmm. know. And when he was back in 1920-21, yes. at that time, Greece attacked Turkey. Yes. Or minor Asia minor, mm -hmm. they went. I don't know, and he was taken as a soldier. He stayed in the in the village, maybe one week or ten days, mm -hmm. and the Greek, are the Greek people, 
mm-hmm. of the army Army Greek. authorities, yes. They took him as a soldier. To fight against Turkish Ottoman Empire. They took a ship from Salonika, Salon, straight to the Izmir, Smyrna, so and straight to the front he was to fight against the Turks. What for? Who was interested? And he, Kaksavelis uh, Apredadi, gave the two. He gave himself up to the Turkish. To the Turkish. They say we are not Greek. We are Macedonian, Bulgarian. At that time, Bulgaria, Austria, Hungary, and Turkey, they were allies. Yes, they okay. were allies. Yeah, allies. Okay. And he, then from the front. So he didn't want, your father didn't want to fight for the Greeks. No, yes. Because to, he didn't, he, he wasn't he, Greek. He was not Greek. He yeah. was Macedonian. <laughs> what for? Who didn't ask to fight against the Turks? And what happened when he gave himself up? After that, Posta, from the front, he was seen. Palat, Le, Ankara, Eskisha, Bursa. So he was sent to fight for the Turks? No. Or just to live? He went to Ankara. That time, Ankara was a very little town. Yes. And he worked over there in a, in a bakery. Furna. He worked there. in a bakery, made bakery. baking bread. Okay. Yeah, bread. And with the help of a Russian consulate in, uh, in Ankara at that time, he got the necessary documents, at least, so that he was free. Through the mountains, Castamono, they went to Black Sea, in Ebola, a small city, uh, I would say, harbor. On the harbor, yes. On the harbor, yeah. He was sailing, and a Russian small ship. They, how we say in English? No, Makedonsky. Makedonsky. Who was in the harbor and he didn't want to be there. He was standing there. He had a Russian parachute pumper. Yes, there was a... Bile, yeah, Tatko was a friend of mine. Yes. And the whole world knows that the Burno, the other one, I don't know why, but he was a friend of mine, he was a friend of mine. And Tatko was waiting for him to go to the river so that he could be a friend of mine. Yes. And two nights, the Pampor, the Russian, were signed in Istanbul. So your father actually went on the uh, Russian uh, ship and... The Russian ship... They, and they, he jumped on it, right? They didn't know he was there. They, uh, they were two days, two nights in the ship. Imalu nekoj gotva chef, cook, mu dao manja da jadat. I pule vojnik razpartale, narskinat, gladni. I nekoj bolgarin bil, nekoj šefo, kuko bil bolgarin, mu dao manja, jel denje. He got it in Istanbul. So they arrived in Istanbul in with Istanbul. the Russian ship. With the Russian by, ship. By jumping on it, yes. And then... Drew your friend. His friend. There was a here, here, you know. Mm-hmm. That is a pier. Pampor tam u ide lekko, ne gubi prijatelj, bo rekel, jaz imam tukaj armasnica, godenika, ki odam pri godenikta. Se ga ima tatko mi, ponovi me, kakšo slušaše, E, lunga gradinite, bavčite around the sea in Greda tukaj na bridžo, Galata bridž, s partalem, bradosem. Toga ima treba še, za da pomeniš tudi do bridž, treba da daj kakve para se. You have to pay, you have to pay 10 piastr for the bridge. So your father was in Istanbul, you have to pay for the bridge. There is no center, there is no parish, there is a friend, there is a bridge, and they are waiting for you to move the parish, and they will see him and say, okay, go, go, go. So they let him go through the bridge because he didn't have the money. Go to the bridge, go to the Istanbul, the old, the old, the old quarters of Istanbul. Kakšo mi pa leš on, 
по нойма, как што случаше оно в Селјанте, така? има наши македонци, паталејци, градинари, покрај морто. Го зема пето, тука пешкен, влакин, трудо хера, рон, на рон, де си, рубен, глеза, така, глеза, глеза, тука, дојде тука на градинте. Види, yes. с... The Six Feeling, uh, I don't know. The Six Sense, he the follows. Yes, he yeah. follows sense. Yeah, there he goes. At the evening, with them, and the whole day, they walk in the sea, and they go to the sea. Okay, so he went around the harbor, he went around the whole harbor of yeah. Istanbul, and he's he, coming here and around. he was looking for Macedonians from his yeah, village Macedonia that and, uh, worked in the gardens. In the gardens. So by some, yes, your grandfather, Tole Zorev, father of your mother, this was the garden. So your grandfather had a garden there. Da. От ода тамо со стеми, цел да дојдеш тамо со стеми. Окей, чичко ангел, what was the area called where there were the gardens, lots of Macedonian people were there? Да, кучук ланга и бијк ланга gardens. This is бијк ланга garden, this is кучук ланга. Така се вика тука. And at that time there were lots of Macedonians living there? Yes, living, working in these gardens. And from where were they, many of the Macedonians? Oh, actually, so Patele, Gornichevo, Imashe, Din, Aleko. Uh huh. So there were lots of people uh, going uh, from Macedonian villages close to where you yeah, found them. Yeah, they were lived. gardeners. Yes. They may have done some of the work, but they didn't know. And what year was that, Chichkwangil? It was when your father. When Ended my father in came Ankara. here, I mean in uh, nine, Istanbul, 1922, 23. Okay. Mm -hmm. He got pictures. Okay. Po tom vremen, my father and my mother they were like engagement. I don't know, poselski. They were engaged. Okay. Your parents were engaged. They 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 were engaged. So your your wife's um, your father's I mean your mother's uh, your mother was living in Istanbul by now? No, no, my mother was in Patele. But her father was in Istanbul. My father came, as I told you. Yes, from this, around, around the harbor. Walking around, walking around Doidi Tamo. Yes. They bara to look after the Pataleci, Macedonci. Gradinari. He was looking for the Macedonians from Patele, the from gardeners, Patele. and he found them. He was looking for the Macedonians from Patele, the gardeners, So at that time he found your grandfather, the father of your mother, but he didn't know that it, it, yeah, they were not married yet. My father, who came to the Macedonians from Patele, the gardeners, 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 your your grandfather. Yes. Yeah. He was fixing the roof, the shingles. The shingles. Your grandfather. Oh, so he recognized him. Your grandfather recognized your father and said, "I know who you are." Yeah. And then what happened? Di tamo ustamba pri dedo mi. And then your father stayed with your grandfather. Right. In Istanbul, yes. Da. In the garden area. Da. Da. I posao da rabata tatko mi tamo. So he started to work with your grandfather in the garden. Pri moj to dedo, koji mu beše dedo, babalek, okej. I po jedna godina ili nešto, after one year? After one year, Tatko mi, so it in Druk Patalenec. Yes. Went back to Patalenec. Ordered with Istanbul. Okay, let's switch to English a little bit. So then, with his friend, where did he go? They go by train to meet my mother in Svilengrad. My mother is coming from Patalenec. With his brother-in-law, so teach me. Yes. Yeah, do tamo ginose. 
Where is Svilingrad? They were going to meet in, the, in, in the border between Bulgaria, Greece, and Turkey. Svilingrad. Okay. The, yeah. So he met your mother in Svilingrad, in the old yeah. border between and then Turkey and they, Bulgaria. They continued their way through Starozagora, Schumann. They were going to Varna, Bulgaria. So they decided to go they, to Varna. Yeah. There were some Macedonians, Ichkarovi. Yes. They, they were there. They were, how you say, Nunkovs, Nunkovs. They were godparents. They were yeah. their godparents. Yeah. And there they got married in Varna? Yeah, yeah, they got married in Varna. Yes. They stayed one year like this, I don't know. And my sister, Was older born. sister, is born there in Dolin Chief Lake. Yes. I'll show you the picture. I'll show you. Yes. Now, Yuma, so after they stayed in Varna for about a year, what happened then? Then, after that, my grandfather, Dedotone Zorov, write a letter and say, what you say in Bulgaria? No, no work over there. Come over here. We work together in the garden here. Yes. Istanbul, they went from Varna with a ship, by ship. He, my mother was saying, Sakasha da Furlam na morto, tell her not to plach a baby, Sultana Malechko, baby. Yeah, your mother baby. was crying, she yeah. had a newborn baby in her hands. Yeah, yeah, a little baby. He said, no, what did they uh, stumble? They yes. went to Istanbul. My father started to work in the garden, in the garden. And I am born in the gardens, and I am old gardener. Okay. What what kind of work did they do? What, they were like public gardens, and they were upkeeping them. Ah, uh, this garden, in older times, in Ottoman Republic, yes. before the foundation of the modern Turkish Republic. Yes. Imashe Tekenista, how you say, Jami. Okay. So, they were, about uh, so they it, were uh, mosques. And this garden where my grandfather was mm -hmm. working, Beshe Adrje and Bratia, two brothers, they were Hojas. Okay, so Hoja. they were Hoja like uh, priests. religious uh, people. Hoja, Hoja, like, yes. like priests. Like priests, Muslim yeah, priests. Hoja. Yeah. And they were coming, I said, no, Guine Puminaya, Yasna Rodi, Sestra Misna Rodi, Ustaname, to Gradinta da Robotme. So you also continued to work in the gardens when you grew up? No other choice, Vesna. And what year was that? When you got bo you you were born in 19... 19, 1920, 26, my sister was born in Dolan, mm -hmm. and then after one year they went in Istanbul, as I told you, Right. when my sister was six months old, mm -hmm. and stayed uh, together mm -hmm. to work with my grandfather. Yeah. Right? Yes. And I started to work in the gardens. How old were you when you started to work in the garden? How many? How old? Yes. <laughs> After the school, I finished the school when I was 13 years old, 14 years old. So what kind of school did you go to? It was Bulgarian school. It was a Bulgarian yeah. school? And right. w were there many Bulgarian schools? Uh, uh, Just were, one, one Bulgarian school. And uh, who were the Secondary children? Secondary school. How you say? Elementary school. Elementary school. Yeah, here. That's the elementary school. Were there many Macedonians like you there? Uh, sure, of course, these uh, kids are all, almost all Macedonians. They're all Macedonians. Maybe a few of them are Bulgarian, from Bulgaria. Oh. But All of them are Macedonians. And how old were you there? How old I was? Yes. 13, 13 and a half years old, 94 too. 
1942. When did you start going to the school? How old were you when you when first started? I was maybe six and a half, seven years old. So from grade one, you went up to grade four, five? This is no. all. No other... Eight, maybe. Yeah, because if no you were 14, school. you would be close to eight, uh, grade eight. Um, yeah, my father, he has not the possibility to send me to another school. Or uh, Austrian school or Italian. We had to work very hard. Yes. For a slice of bread. Mm -hmm. That's what I was going to ask you. What was your life like in uh, when you were in Turkey, in Istanbul, growing up? You went to school, you learned uh, to read and write, even though it was Bulgarian, but still you learned. After the school, yes. when, finished, when I was 14 years, I started to work with my father in the garden. Yes. No other choice, what to do? Mm -hmm. You have to work. And how... Uh, uh, that's, uh, yeah, you continued to work in the gardens. Working in the garden. No. When, you were, when you were going to school, did you, um, I, I, did you have uh, Macedonian friends or in, the, in your neighborhood? No, all these all this, uh, kids, you see, they all were my friends, almost. Some of them younger, little, my age. And what language did you speak to them? Bulgarian and Turkish. Mm -hmm. Did you speak to them in Macedonian? Yeah. Some of them they knew Macedonian, they speak Turkish as well. You know, in which country you live, you have to speak this language. Okay. What Do you remember what kind of games you played, Tichko um, uh, Angel? What kind of game? Oh, oh, lots of games. Um, I can't say it in English, I don't know. You can say it in Macedonian. Uh, in Turkish? Yes. Topac. You know? How do you play Topac? Matkaç konet, ego folles da severte, da se tutka, da severte Topac. Çelik çumak, piece of wood like this and the lower one, track, boom. So it's like a baseball, something Same like baseball. Making, how you say in English, uçurma. Mm -hmm. Imaşı çiti zıvame, iklıvame, parabeme, delita. In English, I don't know how you say. Okay, like paper planes? Like, did you make it with paper? In paper and the tiny, tiny, very thin wood pieces. Yes, you make the, the frame. Yes, and then cover with the paper and make a tail. Oh, uh, kites! Kites! Yes, you made kites. Kite, kite, kite. Yes, kite. You, you flew kites kite. with, the, with the children. Yes, there was right. lots of wind, right? Uh, Topach. <laughs> that's oh, what you see. <laughs> now. Um, you might. Yeah. So, Chichko Angel, you said that you don't know your grandparents because you didn't grow up with them. But your father, did he tell you anything about um, about Patele? What do you remember from yeah, your father? That's, my mother was telling me some stories. Bigurits, da, burda, Nenampoi, Ostro, Kelemes, Koralci. So she told you about different parts of Patele? Around the, the Ostro Lake. The lake. Because yeah. Patele is in is by yeah, the lake. Patele on the lake, on the shore. And Ostrovo is the other side, on the upper northern side of, of Patele. Oh. Northeast. That's that's called Ostrovo. Ostrovo. Yeah. Yes. Have you ever been in Patele yourself? Yeah. I went unexpectedly yes? in Patele. Tell us. I decided myself to go to see my father's, my mother's birthplace. When was that? Nobody knew that. Mm -hmm. It was December 14, 1966. Okay. When I was going to Switzerland to see my cousin, to visit my cousin, mm -hmm. I decided myself in my own wish to see the birthplace of my father. It was almost night time, December 14th, 4 30 afternoon, it was almost dark. Yes. When I came to the Patele. stop, stop on the Patele, 
Nobody know me. I ask one uh, old man who get from the train mm -hmm. with the little girl, and I ask them, where is the Prushka? Where is the Kalenchev? Uh, the, the girl told me, I'm oh, here, okay. I came inside, I, I saw my, my cousin, Prushka, we didn't know each other, never, for the first time I saw her. Oh, she was ashamed. It was unexpected. Oh. She was shocked. Shocked? Yes. Hey, T.C., oh, I'm going to T.C. Barchet, come, come on. So she hey, took you so in. So to say all the, the complete village get... Came to see you. Yeah. Everybody came. She she sent the the girl oh, go to the Zora, go to the Donk and and then go. All your relatives go to all everybody. All of them came to see me. Yes. And they saw me for the first time. I see for the first time them. I don't don't know. That was a nice reunion. Yeah, just one night, and the ne the next day I have to continue my trip to Switzerland. Yes. So from Patina I went back to Solon, yes. to Salonika. Yes. When I left my luggage in the hotel, okay. get my luggage from the hotel in Salonika, get the train yes. through uh, the, not through Lerin, the other side. Yeah. Then I continue my trip through Skopje, all Yugoslavia, Italy, time, yeah. Switzerland. Mm -hmm. I saw my, I met my uh, cousin, and this is the story. Yes. Now, uh, so you went for that was your trip, right? And when you came back, you came back to Canada. I mean, you came back to Istanbul. Of course. Yes, and you continued. You to have. Work. You have to visit only three months to stay uh, outside. To stay outside Turkey. Otherwise, you lose your right. You you can't go. If you exceed the ninety days, yes. three months, you lose the right to enter the country. Although you are born there, mm -hmm. because you are not Turkish citizen. Right. So when you lived in Turkey, in Istanbul, you were uh, working in the garden. You continued to work there. Was there many other? Were there many other Macedonians in that neighborhood? Yeah, and, uh, gardeners like my father. And uh -huh. How you say, milkman, mlekarish, kembeji. So there were a lot of Macedonian, yeah, um, Macedonian yes, milk, delivering right. milk, um, uh, cooking. Now, cooking. yes, in restaurants probably. Um, did you have a Macedonian, any kind of Macedonian celebrations in uh, in Istanbul where you live? Yeah, New Year, Easter. Yeah, what did you? Do? Where did you go for New Year's and Easter? Uh, we have two churches in Istanbul, the famous one, 27, which is the... Saint Stephen? In the, in the Balkan Peninsula, only one. It is from iron, metal. So it's a big church. A big church. And it's Maybe you have heard about 27, the church. So, and that was a uh, Christian and church? And when I'm Christian in that church. You're Christian in that church. Now, is that an old church? It is concerted old 1897. 1897. When my father was born, same date. It was built in Turkey. So there was a big uh, Christian population in, in uh, Istanbul at that time. Population. There, was a lot of, there were lots of Macedonians there. Yeah, maybe, maybe around twenty thousand, maybe that uh -huh. time, seventy-five, eighty years ago. Did they did they help to build the first church, uh, Saint Stephen? Yeah, with the help of the Bulgaria, maybe I don't know. Right. That the, the, it was brought from Austria in 
and mounted in there. So but, yeah, it is of iron, piece by piece. Yes, a very it beautiful church. But it is to be, to be every year to be painted to to keep it to save from the rust. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a rusting. Right. So uh, then you continued to live in Istanbul. I continued to live in your adult life. When my father said, eh, "You see, in the garden we don't have future. Yeah, you have to go down to look after you yourself to find her." Thanks that that time, uh, my friend who was older than me, couple years. We were friends. After that, he became a priest in Istanbul. And he told me, Uncle, there is a firm, a company, and they are looking for a young boy for the office clerk yes. to work. And I went. He was German. My boss was German, not Protestant. He was Orthodox. His wife was Greek Orthodox, and he was a big man in the Patriarchate, the, the ecumenical Patriarchate in Istanbul. Yes. From the, in the, from you saying... Um, the churches? Uh, no, no, no. In the Patriarchate, there are the seven, with all the ranks, priests, so he was very high up in the uh, yeah. in the administrative church. Uh, yeah, I worked over there for twenty five years. Quarter a century, one quarter century. As a, a as a clerk in the office. In the office, mm -hmm. I was canvassing the market to get orders for, for spare parts for motor vehicles. For motor vehicles. Motor parts, engine parts, chassis parts. With lots of catalogs and price lists. So it was, a, it was a yeah to get orders, and he was representative of many many factories in Germany, in Italy, and I worked twenty five years. And you got uh, you worked for the company yeah. that uh, was making uh, what uh, uh, to, car parts to, to make my livelihood. Livelihood. <laughs> Did, so that person that you worked for, he was representing German um, German firms? German firm in Germany, in Stuttgart, Bad Karnstadt, maybe mm -hmm. we have heard Colvin, Mahle Colvin, pistons, pistons, rings, valves, spare parts, brake parts. Uh huh, for cars? Yeah. Okay. Uh, with price list, with customers, go around the customer, okay, give order, after, if, be, hurry up because prices are going up to induce the customer to get orders. Okay, and, uh, and then uh, when you worked there in Istanbul, did you, uh, who were your friends? Were they Macedonian as well? My friends? Yes. When I worked for, for my boss. There were one Greek, one Romanian. We were good friends working together. Good. And in your spare time, what did you do for what did you My do for entertainment time. and uh, any groups that well, you were in? To say trying to say I didn't have spare time. Work <laughs> always work in the garden, going to garden to help my father during my spare time, after the office. Summertime, when the days are longer, after 7 o'clock, it is still light. No, no, no yes. I was going to help a little bit to my father in the garden. Okay. And to pick up him. To pick him up? Yeah, because he was old, he couldn't walk. Okay. Yeah, to go home. Mm -hmm. And you lived with your parents? You continued yeah, to stay with I your with parents? Yeah, with my parents. Uh -huh. Then I lost my father. He passed away on 7th of January 1977 on Ivanov Day mm -hmm. when my sister was visited my parents. I, I was in work, of course. 
Anyway, it was hard. Then my mother passed away mm -hmm. after ten and a half years mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in 1987, August the 14th. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, this is the life, unfortunately. And then, uh, what you, like, you continue to stay in Istanbul? I stayed in Istanbul, but after the death of my boss, yes, of the German boss, he wanted to marry me. Well, I said, Mr. Hollenbach, I don't have money, I don't have house, I don't have that. Oh, very easy, we will find some way. And anyways, got uh, with his mother-in-law, he said, we'll open an account in the name of my mother-in-law, we'll get some loans, some money. Anyways, I was paying the installments. Yes. Because I didn't, she was the boss, the mother-in-law, because she was Turkish citizen. Okay. I didn't have a right to have properties. So even though you were born in Turkey, you you didn't have citizenship? No. Is that a law in Turkey? No, you, you, you make application to be accepted as a Turkish citizen, but investigation, investigation, what you have, you have money? No. You have house? No, I don't have it. You have any profession? No, I don't have <laughs> So you tried to get a Turkish citizenship? Yes, I tried. I waited many, many years and it was not accepted because I told you. They asked me, you have money? No. You have house? No. You have property? No. <laughs> so you and, had... And I was refused. So those were the requirements that you have... Uh, no. Yes. You, ha you don't have any rights for the time. You don't have... Um, obviously, rights, social rights. Mm -hmm. You don't have um, pension because you are not citizen. So you didn't have any of those rights? No, no. When you are not citizen of that country, you are not entitled to get pension. That's right, that's right. right. So you had a very hard life in Istanbul. Huh? You had a very hard life in yeah, I'm working out. <laughs> yeah. all my life working in the garden, in the mm -hmm. office. Mm -hmm. Did you meet? Did you have uh, any kind of uh, Macedonian? Uh, did you go? To, did you have any kind of Macedonian uh, parties, vecherinki, where you went? Yeah, we had two times vecherinki. Uh huh. When? On uh, Easter time and on New Year. And where did you have the vecherinki in? Vecherinki, you know, we were, we were diggers sit over there, the boys over there. That time, <laughs> you know. It was different? Yeah. And was it in a hall or was it in somebody's house? Yeah, it was a casino like this. Like casinos? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it was in a public hall. A public hall. And so there were many Macedonians who were who came to these... Yeah, uh, not too many, not too many, mm -hmm. not too many. So you, you, uh, so then uh, what happened when your boss, uh, you said your boss died and then you came to Canada or, sorry, I didn't when get my that. boss died yes. and the firm, the company Closed. Well, broke. They went bankrupt. And was forced, I was obliged to look for my life, for my livelihood. Yeah, livelihood. I ended up decided to come to Canada to find my first cousins, which I didn't know, never seen before. Yes, tell, tell us how, uh, how uh, you came to Canada. Oh, I came from Istanbul with the Swiss Air Airlines. Yes. Istanbul, Zurich, Toronto. It was the 10th of November 
1979, November the 10th. And who sponsored you? Your your cousin sponsored. Uh, yeah, my cousin came. Mike Zora came to meet me in the airport and took me. I went. I the other cousins, my. And this is uh, the cousin from your, uh, from your um, aunt, from your sister, or from your um, mother's side. From my mother's side. Uh -huh. Zora Zora family Zorovi. Zorovi, uh huh. Zorovi. And they, so you came at the airport and they met you there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. My cousin came to see me, to meet me there, to pick up me from the airport. And his name? He passed away, he deceased. Mike, Mia, Mia, Zora. Uh huh. And yeah. then? Then I have another cousin, Sam, Sotir, Zora. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were. They greeted you even though you didn't know them, you never met them, they really welcomed you. Yeah, I saw for the first time my cousins. No, no, Mike came in Istanbul to see me. Yes. To see us, to visit us two, three years before that. And when you saw each other at the airport, what language did you speak with them? A Macedonian, of course. Yes. <laughs> And then, uh, where did you go to stay? With who did you stay? I stay. I got married. Mm -hmm. They found a girl. They made. I make. I got married. And no, but unfortunately, you the, my wife was sick. She, she passed away. Oh, I'm sorry about that. So you did you stay with one of your cousins at the beginning? Yes, I stayed. With who? With with who did with which cousin did you stay? With Mike? With Mike first, then I went to my other cousin. Uh -huh. and where the did, older one, so, Sotter. So where did you live in Toronto when you came first? I lived in Mississauga and I got married. So you got married in Mississauga? Yeah, and I what stayed. is your wife's name? My wife's name Georgia. Yurgia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was, yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, as I told her, she was sick and passed away. I had, I was forced to come in Canada, Macedonia place. What to do? How, Where how to... long were you, uh, was she alive for a very short time, you said? How long did you get, how long were you married? With... How long? Yes. Oh, a couple of years. How many years? I don't know. Uh, well, from what family is the is your wife? Her name. The name of your wife is. Georgia. And last name. Gina. 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 Last name. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, was she from Patele? No. Where was uh, she another, from? Another uh, village. Another Macedonian yeah, village. Yeah. Which one? Uh, Banitsa. Oh, she was from Banitsa. So she was also Macedonian. Yeah. yeah. And with her, what language did you speak together? Macedonian. Macedonian, yes. So unfortunately, you li she lived a very short life and then you yeah. came to Macedon Canadian Macedonian place. Yes. What, what? I came here, it was in 1992. 1992, you came here? Yeah. So you it have. It is almost. 22, 23 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when you first came to Canada, how did you learn the language? How oh, I learned the language? Reading the papers, the newspapers. Uh, and what did you do for work? What did you work in well, when I you worked. first came? Yeah, where did you work? In factories, in restaurants, in various places. Yes. And I got retired, of course. When I was 65, mm -hmm. I got retired. And since yes. that time, I'm here. Right. Retired. When when you work senior senior citizen senior retired. Si when you worked in the um, factories, did you have uh, other Mace Were you working with other Macedonians? Was yeah, there, there yes? was another from Patera. Yeah, I asked him to get me. To give me some work to work together and so. And you got you got yeah, work in his factory. I, I got sick. 
Yes. I was paralyzed, my back, surgeries, so was lots, that, of, lots of problems. Was that, was that, was your health I, problem related yeah, to your work? Yeah, I got my, my back, hernia on my back. Uh -huh. Hernia discard. It was terrible. I was paralyzed. I couldn't work. Oh. Oh, terrible. Right. Was it physical work? Did you have to work physically in the physically, factory? Physically, yeah, physically. So you got sick after you started working? Physically. All my life. From my childhood in the gardens, mm -hmm. asking the people to give me work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. And, uh, Chichkongil, when you came here and, um, uh, you, when you came to Canada, did you did you start going to any churches? There are Macedonian, Bulgarian churches, Sveti Georgi, Sveti Kirill, Methodist, Sveti Troitsa. So you visited the churches? Yeah, I was visiting. Then when when did Sunday go to the Sveti Georgi, the next Sunday go to Sveti Kirill, mm -hmm. that. And, and were were the people in in uh, Sveti Georgi and Sveti uh, Kirill uh, Macedonian? Yeah, of course. So you Some knew Bulgaria that? maybe, immigrants from Bulgaria, they're mixed. Mm -hmm. The old Macedonians, they all passed away, they're gone. Yes. The younger, non... Some young Macedonians. Yeah, young Macedonians, they, 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 don't, they don't talk Macedonian, they almost, their mother tongue is now English. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you know why the Macedonians are going to the Bulgarian church? Sorry? Because there is no different Macedonian and Bulgarian, almost the same language. Mm -hmm. Was there a Macedonian, well, you, were, you came in 1979, right? To, to Yes. Did you also go to St. Clement, the Macedonian church? Which one? Sveti Clement, the Macedonian yeah, church. Yeah, Sveti Clement, yeah, sometimes. You also went to yeah. St. Clement, uh, yes, as it was The Sveti Troitsa church is very close to me, not far away okay. from here. Yes. From the Canada Macedonian place, just two miles maybe. Uh -huh. Were you a member, Chico uh, Angel, on a, of any clubs? Yeah, Macedonian Learning Society. Yes. But uh, you see me, I'm not active due to my age. Yes. No, I'm not active. I can't go. Yeah, I make celebrate the uh, this picnics. Picnics in uh, Mississauga. The, yes. the park, yeah, before I was visiting that place, this park, but now I can't drive it too far for me. But when you could, you did visit and, and yeah. uh, take part in yeah, the Lerin the Association activities. In the activities. summertime, when they were picnics, I was going there, yeah, visiting. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and, Chichkoangil, uh, uh, can you tell us uh, can you tell us uh, anything about um, the uh, your your life uh, generally? Something that what is it that you're you're happy about? That you're proud of? Which one? Odo od što si radosen i gort vo tvoj život? Gort sam što sam tu kad sam makedonsko mesto, Macedonija, place, lots of people, Macedonia, polite, good people, friendly. <laughs> Great. Can you tell us more about the Canadian Macedonian place? How you found out and you came here, you decided to come here? Mm, yeah, it was 22, 23 years ago. Yes. When my wife passed away, I was, what to do? I came here to live here. Yes. I was 63, 64 years old that time. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> Why did you decide to come here and not to another home? Yeah, I prefer because it's Macedonian place, lots of people in Macedonia. They speak my language, my mother tongue. And it's just to be preferred. 
you you prefer that yes and do you ha do you have good company and uh, good, good activities good company nice people here friendly yeah we live here in harmony sometimes unfortunately Olga Sandalovich was coming you remember Olga Sandalovich yes the folk dancer yeah, the what teacher. happened to this lady she's not coming now to entertain us yes tell us dancing about... mansion exercise <laughs> tell us yeah. tell us uh, what Olga Sandalovich did here yeah she she came she, yeah she was coming almost every week to entertain us first they will start exercise yes <laughs> then dancing or <laughs> yeah it's so nice now you enjoy Mary Minus is coming now sing with her husband great with Angelo he plays the the accordion the accordion she sings horror. so yeah. you like the entertainment yeah beautiful They're very nice enjoy everybody enjoys it and you're very happy living here well of course no yes. problem like you said everybody is happy here to peaceful be harmony in harmony we live harmony brotherly sisterly everybody polite nice gentle great no. you have other people that you see who come from patale or around patale around patale i saw here some other people yeah yes a few my cousins the other from Zora's family. So they came here. But we here. see each other very, very seldom. Yes. When there is a funeral, goes to them across the, when somebody dies, yeah, in, after a couple of years, you see it again. Mm -hmm. that one, yeah. Yeah, everybody has problems. Yes, and you that, stay, that right, so staying here at Canadian Macedonian Place, you're finding it very enjoyable? Enjoyable, very nice, very good. I'm happy here. I'm mm -hmm. very satisfied. Mm -hmm. No problem. But what would yeah. you like to tell other Macedonian uh, older people who are thinking about uh, their next step in uh, changing their, uh, their home situation if they want to come to a home? What would you say to them? Uh, they are welcome. They come here to get the necessary information from the office about the rent. The, they see the renovated apartments. They have idea when they see they came here. Yes. See the new apartment, beautiful. Yes. What do you want to tell people who are thinking about coming here? What do you want to tell them? What to tell? Yes. When they look with their own eyes, no use to tell them. <laughs> they will have an idea. So they should they, come and see the beautiful new apartments. Yeah, yeah, beautiful apartment. We have all the telephone, television, good view. And uh, nice company. Nice company. Food, good food. The food is good. Food is good sometimes, good sometimes. Uh, yeah, it depends. But the company but is generally fantastic. No, no complaint. Generally, food, the food is food, okay. Food is okay. Food good, is okay. good. And the company is the best. The company is best. Nice people. No complaint. Okay. Well, Chichko Angel, I thank you very much for giving us this opportunity uh, to speak to you and learn about your very interesting life. And I'm I sure. Thank you for your hospitality that you invite me and you gave me possibility to talk with my, with my broken English. <laughs> you did so, very well. You no, did very well. Some, and I know there are no. Macedonians who live uh, live in Turkey and live there even now yeah, who will be very interested in hearing. It, with Turkish people, Macedonian people working together. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Chichkolo uh, Angel. Thank you very much. Thank you. I thank you with all my heart for your good, beautiful conversation. You gave me possibility to explain everything what I know, I remember. Yeah, this is... Thank you very much.